you need this message. You need meat in season. This is the seasonal meat that you need. The Holy Ghost is God in the Holy earth today, and you walk with him by saying today. words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw, is joining us. Fun. If this Jesus is your first time here, right make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are God blessing the earth you, today. then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, tonight I have a message for I have come to know the Holy Ghost as the living God and the only part of the Godhead who's actively in the earth today, Jesus is not here. The real Jesus shall return, but is presently in heaven at the right hand of the Father, where he went and is set down and shall return shall return means is not here now just about everybody as a believer would say yes the lord jesus shall return but if he shall return he's returning from some, meaning he's not here he has not yet returned does this make sense a lot of people don't have this message there was a price paid to get here and i'm not letting go of it Matthew chapter 28 and here we have an angel speaking to Mary Magdalene and the other Mary let's read verse 5 and the angel answered and said unto the women fear not ye for I know that you seek Jesus which was crucified verse 6 he is not here now there's a very popular song i heard it at a convention just recently but the very first song they sang was a rousing rendition of jesus is here jesus is here jesus is here they were dancing around singing the song jesus is here that's how embedded this is in people's doctrine the reality is they should have been singing jesus is not here matthew 24 42 watch therefore for you know not what hour your lord doth come verse 44 therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as you think not the son of man cometh has the son of man cometh yet no and he says you don't know what hour but he is going to come question if he is going to come is he here no because he cometh verse 45 who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season say meat in due season blessed is that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing when he cometh but he says the faithful and wise servant whom his lord has made ruler over his house to give them meat in due season what season are we in are we in the season when jesus is here jesus is here jesus is here no your meat is tainted if you think jesus is here your meat is tainted if you think jesus is here you're getting the wrong meat this is the season of the holy ghost is here not jesus if we aren't fully in this season of the holy ghost being here then the real jesus can't return we're not doing our job this is the season of the holy ghost and jesus returning the real jesus 
shall return which means he's not here Acts chapter 1 and then let's look at verse 9 this is talking about Jesus and his ascension and when he had spoken these things while they beheld meaning they were looking at him he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight out of their physical sight he was physically with them and he went up into a cloud physically out of their physical sight who Jesus verse 10 and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which also said ye men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Jesus a different Jesus a strange religious Jesus no the angel said this same Jesus shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven has that happened if he hasn't returned that way then that same Jesus scriptural Jesus Bible Jesus actual Jesus the real Jesus has not yet returned and if he has not yet returned that same Jesus actual Jesus real Jesus is not here where is he he went to sit down at the right hand of the father let's read that and I like this message you need this message you need meat in season this is the seasonal meat that you need eat it Acts chapter 2 I'm not making this up I'm just reading scriptures you're making it up you're making up Jesus is here Acts chapter 2 32 this Jesus hath God raised up which Jesus hath God raised up the one that went up into heaven and was not there anymore did you see that here's the disciples talking this is one chapter over were they saying Jesus is here Jesus is here the disciples said this Jesus the same Jesus that just left this Jesus that left hath God raised up where whereof we are all our witnesses verse 33 therefore being by the right hand of God exalted where is Jesus being being present tense he's at the right hand of God exalted who Jesus real Jesus at the right hand of God exalted and then he said hath shed for this hath hath shed forth this which you now see and hear and he was talking about the Holy Ghost which came on the day of Pentecost we know that Jesus shall return right Acts chapter 3 verse 19 repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord verse 20 and he shall say shall send Jesus Christ which was before preached unto you 21 whom the heaven must receive and another translation says retain whom the heaven must receive and retain until the times of restitution of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began have all of those things been fulfilled no then the heaven must still receive and retain Jesus until all of those things are fulfilled where is he he's still there until all the things are fulfilled down here who gets to fulfill them down here we do Jesus shall return which means shall return he's not here when we've 
completed our job John chapter 16 verse 7 nevertheless this is the words of Jesus nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient or profitable for you that I go away for if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you do you see how this hinges on Jesus departing he was going to depart and send the Holy Ghost or the comforter that hinged on him departing I tell you the truth it's expedient for you that I go here that I be here no he needs to be away listen Jesus needs to be away in order to fulfill our meat in this due season Jesus has to be away otherwise the comforter won't come he says it's expedient or profitable for you if I go not away the comforter won't come but if I depart I will send say send send him unto you Jesus had to depart and then send from where he was Holy Ghost to you what day are we in we're in the day of the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him I am preaching that Jesus went away deal with it I'm preaching a gospel of Jesus went away he went away and he's not here this gospel is profitable unto you say this gospel is profitable unto me why is it profitable unto you because he sent another he sent the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today this is the ultimate prosperity gospel some of you heard that this is the ultimate prosperity gospel because the Holy Ghost is with you in fact this is the only way to get all the things that we need to accomplish in this day so that Jesus can and will return because he said he qualified what he was going to return when everything was put under his feet all enemies put under his feet how's that gonna happen you and the Holy Ghost that's it no Jesus meaning no Jesus with you means you know the real Jesus if you think Jesus is with you you don't know the real Jesus the Holy Ghost is the only God in the earth today the only part of the Godhead actively in the earth today and Jesus is not here the real Jesus shall return shall means not here do you want Jesus to return then he can't be here just use your logic for a second let's say Jesus returns Jesus returns and shows up and everybody sees him and you're one of them and you see him he just returned where was he one second before that was he in everybody's heart he just magically there was this strange sound of coming out of your heart and then he magically appeared there that's not what the what those angels said he's gonna come in the like manner that he went meaning he's gonna come from heaven in like manner as he went so he didn't magically rematerialize into a physical form he never left his physical form his physical form was changed but he never left his physical body are you here and Jesus did not come back in the person of the Holy Ghost he didn't turn into the Holy Ghost he said he would send from where he was another and I'm not saying these things just to irritate people 
even though I might be irritating you Matthew chapter 25 verse 14 for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a near country now a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods and then to one he gave five talents to another two and to another one and straightway took his journey verse 16 then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them another five talents and likewise he that had received two he also gained another two but he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his lord's money verse 19 and after a long time say a long time the lord of those servants cometh say cometh and reckons with them after a long time so we see we see the lord of those servants going to a, who are we talking about jesus right he went to a far away place and then he cometh back and look at what he said verse 19 after a long time say a long time do you know what a long time is is a long time 10 days is a long time 10 years is a long time 2000 years but we're talking about a long time these people bought and sold and right according to acts chapter 1 verse 3 after jesus was raised from the dead he was with the disciples teaching them things concerning the kingdom of heaven for 40 days here and there talking to them raised from the dead for 40 days and then he went up in that instance we read of in acts chapter 1 verse 11 40 days say 40 days then the day of pentecost pentecost literally means 50. on the 50th day the holy ghost came was 10 days so that'd be 10 days see we got the 40 days jesus went away 10 days later the holy ghost came would that have been jesus returning would that have been a long time 10 days is not a long time he hasn't returned yet he sent the holy ghost he sent another that's my point it says after a long time the lord returned and then verse 21 his lord said unto him well done thou good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make thee ruler over many things enter thou into the joy of thy lord are you still here these people had been doing what the lord told them to do listen who were the good and faithful servants all the ones that produced yes the ones that produced in his absence the good and faithful listen the good and faithful servants are the ones who produced in his absence he wasn't there he returned from somewhere else are you getting this here's how you produce in his absence say in his absence not in the absence of the Holy Ghost right we're supposed to produce in the kingdom in his absence this is how you produce in his absence Romans chapter 14 and verse 17 for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost righteousness peace and joy are simply modifiers to in the Holy Ghost if you're in the Holy Ghost there will be righteousness peace and joy do you understand that so this literally reads the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost and if you want to be productive and you want to produce in Jesus's absence it will be in 
the kingdom in the Holy Ghost Romans chapter 10 verse 6 says but the righteousness which is of faith speaks righteousness in the Holy Ghost the righteousness of faith speaks it says something verse 8 but what saith it the word so if we're gonna be walking in the kingdom of God in the Holy Ghost the righteousness of faith is speaking and it's saying the word listen this is how we are the most productive in the earth is by walking with the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word now this is one of the most recent visions I've had but it was the end of days and there was Jesus returning and I was present there to see him return and we all came up to him and began to give him hand him the keys to our kingdom keys to the kingdom that we have been productive in and handing it to him it's the same thing as the talents do you understand those businessmen that were doing the talents that would have been their kingdom so I handed him the keys of the kingdom that I was occupied with and that was the major part there were other things that went on there but I was handing the keys to my kingdom well the kingdom of God we saw here in Romans is in the Holy Ghost your kingdom is in the Holy Ghost the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost righteousness peace and joy my kingdom is in the Holy Ghost saying the word of righteousness in this you will have a kingdom to present to him in what in walking with the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his words you will have a kingdom to present to him at his coming the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you can be productive in this walking with him by saying words it will be valuable to you and give you something to present to him when he returns well I'm inviting you in if you can hear I know this sounds different I want you to be a part of this this kingdom the Holy Ghost as the only God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words Daniel chapter 7 verse 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven that means on earth shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high god whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall obey and serve him hitherto is the end of the matter this is where it ends so i preach this in order for you to be a part of this kingdom the greatness of the kingdom and hitherto is the end worship the holy ghost as god walk with him in the earth by saying words you can do this thank you Holy Ghost that these people are blessed and your anointing is on them and you have awakened in them the desire for Jesus return but you've wakened it in a new way that they know the things they're called to do and to fulfill we give you all the glory and the praise in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today I know that it requires money to fulfill everything I'm called to fulfill 
and I thank you that you are causing it to come to me in greater and greater measure, in a great measure, so that the greatness of the kingdom I can walk in. I worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth to 